Hello everyone. Uh, now we will talk about the basic operations in a double linked list. Here the operations are uh, creation, insertion, deletion and traversing the linked list. These operations are similar to uh, what we have already seen with respect to singly linked list. So let's begin. So whatever operations we have seen in case of singly linked list, similar to that we are going to talk about the doubly linked list or double linked list. That is creation of the node. We have just seen how to create a node in case of sing, uh, doubly linked list. Okay. Then insertion of the node in doubly linked list. Again, we have it at the beginning and uh, at end and in, in between. Okay. Deletion, same we are going to have uh, beginning, then uh, end and at intermediate. Okay. And then traversing a linked list. Here, in case of traversing a doubly linked list, we will traverse left to right as well as right to left bidirectional because the doubly linked list is a bidirectional. Okay. Now let's talk about creating a node for doubly linked list. So creating is very simple. What we do creating a double linked list starts with creating a node. Uh, we have to uh, ensure that sufficient memory is available. So sufficient memory has to be allocated for creating a node. This information is stored in memory allocated by using malloc function. So by using malloc function, basically we do the memory allocation to the node and that we have or that we already know, right? Uh, the function get node uh, that we have used in case of single link list, same function we are going to use that is used for creating a node after allocating memory for the structure of type node. The information for the item that is data has to be read from the user and set left field to null and right field also set to null. So when basically we create a node, what we do, we accept input from user that input goes in a data part of the uh, node. So let's assume that input is 10 and then the left, left part we assign value as null and in right part we assign value as null. So right and left part means what? This is the previous node address. This is the next node address. So when basically we create a node, it has only the data part and it's left and right both link points to the null value. Okay. When basically we want to insert it at the beginning, then this value remains same and address of start goes here. So this uh, next node, uh, next uh, link address changes to the start address because it becomes the begin. Okay. If at the end we are doing, so whatever was the last node, its address goes in the uh, in left link or in the previous link. Okay. And the last link, uh, last, uh, let's say next uh, part remains as it is, that is null. Okay. If in between, then we have previous node and next node. So previous nodes address goes in the uh, previous part and next node address goes in the next part. Okay. So this is what happens when we uh, want to input Let's insert the node uh, in the linked list. Okay. So for creation, no issues. Okay. So I hope you have understood how to create a node. So uh, this is the code that we actually do for creating a, or uh, let's say getting a new node. So star new node, new node is equal to uh, node star malloc function memory is allocated. So see here, a newly node is created. So I'm showing here a newly created node. Okay. Then after that, uh, we give message to the user, please enter data. Okay. And we accept new node data in new node data part, the data entered by the user. So assuming that user has entered 10 value. So now that is going at the data part of the newly created node. Okay. Then we have new node left equal to null. So left pointer of the newly created node, this should point to null value. So see here, this is pointing to null value. Then we have the uh, right uh, link of the newly created node that it should also contain null value. So new node of right is equal to null. Now see here, it will contain a null value. So in this way, we create a new node. Clear everyone? So return new node, we'll return node and the program will stop here. The function will stop here. Okay, fine. Now, next is creating a double linked list with n number of nodes. Now, I don't want to create just a node. I want to create n number of nodes. Okay. So, and also I want to add that n number of nodes into linked list. So, what actually we do? We have some steps. What steps? First, we get the node. Then if list is empty, then 
the new node is nothing but my start node okay otherwise if list is not empty that means i have a start node already then in that case the left field of the new node is made to point to the previous node and the previous node previous node's right field must be assigned with the address of the new node okay and then we repeat the steps fine so now here i am i am showing you how actually it happens so creating uh, a list so new node is created okay uh, two no node actually created here new node and temp node okay then we have a uh, new let's uh, get a node so we got a node here now after getting a node what we do if start equal to equal to null it means what we don't have any node in the list so whatever new node we have created it is nothing but a single node in the list so start will be equal to new node and if else the situation is that we have already one node in the linked list so this is a node that we already have in the linked list okay and uh, the both these values are null null that is previous and next okay so this is previous pointer this is next pointer both values are null null and its address is for example 100 and the content is 10 okay so we will go in else part now we are creating one more node with name as temp and that temp is equal to start so this is my start node now i am also pointing this node as a temp node okay then while temp arrow right that means while this condition is true that means jo paranta ti value null hot nahi while made theek hai what we need to do we need to go to the most uh, right element that means the element the last element so by using this code actually we are going to the uh, last uh, last node in the linked list okay so as we have only one node okay this condition is false we will uh, temp is itself uh, the uh, here we will get temp of right see here temp of right is null so we will get null here so this condition will not become true okay we will directly go to this statement so we will directly go to this statement so temp of right temp of right is equal to new node so temp of right is what see here this is the right and this is the left so temp of right is newly created node so assuming that we have created a new node so this is the new node with data part is let's say 20 okay its uh, both values are null initially okay so what we and its address is for example 200 okay so what we are doing now temp of right so temp of right is new node so here now instead of n that is null we are going to get value as 200 okay temp of right equal to okay and then new node of left see here this is new node of left left means what this previous pointer is equal to temp so what is address of temp 100 so it will come here so here now instead of n we will get 100 value okay so in this way a link will get automatically created okay basically he link nasthe link manje ka asto the address of address part nasthe so by using addresses they actually uh, the control transfers okay so the address of second node is stored here in the next part of the first node and in previous part of the second node we get the address of the first node in this way we have created a linked list with two nodes understood everyone okay so here end of the program we will go back to the while create list and that's it okay understood creating a, a list with n uh, nodes please reply yes sir okay fine so now let's talk about uh, okay same i have explained here uh, with some animations temp equal to start then when this condition false new node is created and 200 and 100 so uh, whatever i have just uh, explained the same code i have explained here i will show you it again okay so we started with this first node already we have created okay so we are pointing this node as a start node then we are creating second node whose address is 200 new node okay then what we are doing temp equal to start so now the temp is also pointing to the same node then while temp arrow right do what temp equal to that means here what actually we do uh, till this condition is true 
गो टू द नेक्स्ट नोड सो टेम्प विल बी अपडेटेड एज टेम्प राइट सो टेम्प जो राइट है इतना जो एड्रेस है तो एड्रेस नोड हा नोड न्यू टेम्प हो केस मध्य दोनों नोड है ओके सो पहला नोड है ठीक है तो पहला नोड ऐसी केस मे का दिस कंडीशन इज गोइंग टू बिकम फॉल्स एंड इट विल गो टू दिस स्टेटमेंट सो टेम्प ऑफ राइट इक्वल टू न्यू नोड सो सी टेम्प ऑफ राइट इज वॉट दिस so new node new node address is 200 so 200 will get copied here so this is what done here okay and then next statement is uh ha uh, new node of left is temp so new node new node is this and left is this is equal to temp temp address is to uh, 100 so it will come here and then we will get backward link also so this is nothing but the uh, creation of the uh, doubly linked list with two nodes is this clear now